Here we have our macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi over the purple Molokai sweet potatoes, mango bird blanc, tropical salsa. What are we cooking today, Josh? Good morning, guys. So today we're going to do a macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi over a purple Molokai sweet potato with a mango bird blanc and a tropical salsa. We're going to do a little cucumber, red bell pepper, fresh local pineapple, fresh local mint from one of our local farms, and a fresh mahi mahi caught by fresh fish Maui. So we're going to take our mandolin, do some thin slices of the purple Molokai sweet potato. If you need to, you can adjust. Take the rest of our potato, we're going to throw it in the boiling water. Best way to check your oil is maybe throw in a little breadcrumbs or just one piece. Make sure it's hot enough. See a bowl in? All right, so that looks pretty good. Sprinkle these guys in. While those are frying, we'll slice up our cucumber. I like to use the outside. We don't want to use the inside with the seeds because it's a little too moist and gets soggy. We'll also do just a fine chop on these guys. Nice fine dice on the cucumber. Come back to our garnish. Make sure you have a little paper towel or something set out so it soaks up all the oil. We'll hit those guys with a little bit of salt. So this is the base of our salsa. We have the cucumber, red onion, red bell pepper, And then local Maui grown pineapple. I like to take the top off, the bottom off, discard that. As you can see, you have the core and the, the outside. Cut around the outside, you want to take all this, take the outside of the pineapple off. And then I'm going to cut around the core on both sides of the core. And again, there's the core. is hard. We don't really want to eat that. Let's get rid of that guy. Take some fresh mint. Fresh mint, Just a little sprinkle of salt. We'll stir. There we go. Fresh, beautiful pineapple salsa. We're gonna heat up some fresh coconut milk. So we have fresh mahi mahi locally caught here in the Pacific Ocean of Maui. Little mayonnaise for binder. Just paint that on. And this is going to help stick the crust, which is going to be our toasted mac nuts blended with a Japanese panko breadcrumb. See here, you have your panko breadcrumbs and our toasted mac nuts. To, and I already blended them together. Just a nice roll like that. Voila. So once our pan's heated up with a little bit of oil, we're going to put it crust side down. Just going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. As you can see around, all your crust is getting a little golden brown. 
time to flip your fish. Beautiful golden brown. While we're waiting for our fish to cook, we have a little mango puree and heavy cream that's reducing in this pot. We're gonna wait till that comes to a boil. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of butter. Now you don't want your sauce too hot when you whip in the butter, otherwise your sauce is gonna break. And what that means is your butter is gonna turn the sauce into what will look like an oil spill. So I turned off the heat, whipping in the butter. Come over here, I'll add a little bit more. Looks like our fish is done. Beautiful golden brown, fresh mahi mahi. Okay, so now our purple Molokai potatoes are cooked. We're gonna add our coconut milk. And we're gonna mash them up really well. You can use a potato masher, you can even put them in a little robo coop to puree them up. Add a couple pinches of salt, brings out the sweetness. We have beautiful whipped purple Molokai sweet potatoes. We have our mango beurre blanc. Damien nut crusted mahi mahi. Tropical salsa. And then our garnish that we fried up earlier. Here we have our macadamia nut crusted mahi-mahi over the purple Molokai sweet potatoes, mango beurre blanc, tropical salsa.